Now all we have left to do is update our user model. If you remember, we had the ID by default, our na name, email, and password, but we didn't have this foreign key or these other two. So we need to do something to update the user model. We can't do a Rails generate model in this case because the model already exists. So what we want to do is we want to create a, a migration that adds to our existing model. So let's do add um, details to user and uh, Rails will, will, will help us out here. And what we want is that we want a foreign key that we reference the, the church model. We want our uh, phone number and we also would like to have a potentially a picture. And that is the three new things, church ID, phone number, and picture. And by doing that, we should get the proper migration that doesn't create a table like we saw when we created churches or, or some of the other models, but that will get a migration that adds these different columns to the existing database. So let's just look at that real quick. Uh, DB migrate. Uh, there we go. And we can see that we've got those three columns in place. So it, it's uh, similar but not quite the same when you're, you're adding to an already a existing model. Uh, just like we, we did when we added the admin attribute to, to the user model. Uh, again, we probably uh, could put a, a default in here if, if we needed to, but since we let any of these be null, a, a null default is fine. Uh, and, and so we're going to just let that stand.